what we're looking at here is basically you know, a, a, a giant asteroid field. Um, and you see on the, on, in the middle there, this is, this is 300,000 asteroids. This is 10 times more objects than, you, than you've ever seen before in any, in any game. Um, and the reason it's possible to run at 60 FPS is because this is all the GPU that's doing this, this work. The CPU here is just saying, here's an object list of all these asteroids, and, this, and GPU, you go figure it out. And GPU in parallel, all the shaders are able to find the individual asteroids. Um, the, actually, can you turn on the LED uh, illustration for a second there? So this, this is the, these colors are illustrating another one of the cool things that the GPU is doing automatically here. So these asteroids are, you know, are detailed to get close to them, but if you try to draw all of them, you see, you see that XLD triangles picture there, there's three trillion triangles. So you've got all these 100,000 of objects, if they're all as detailed as they need to be when you write it close to them, you'd be drawing three trillion triangles per second. So that wouldn't work. Right? So that's where this LED calculation comes in, is that for every asteroid, the GPU is going to look at how big it is in the scene, and it's going to pick a different version of that with less triangles and potentially uh, to, if it doesn't even use the, the full detail version. So actually, can you switch to showing the version with the like force the LED, a really bad one? Can you force the LED to a really, really bad LED? Like, and then, yeah, so, so this, this is the low LED, right? You wouldn't want to draw every asteroid like this, but actually many of this asteroid in the scene actually can be drawn like this, because they're so far away that you can't see the details on them. So if you, if you turn back to the automatic mode, and then turn the color, colorization back on again. So if you look down and see basically the, the big rocks are either purple or black. And then and as you go backwards, you see the smaller rocks start to change to green or yellow or white for the ones that are the tiniest ones. That, that polarization here is showing what LED level is being picked by the So it's, it's looking at the size and picking the right LED. So the ones that, in the back that are, that, are, uh, that are white or not colored at all are basically that like chunky thing that you just saw, but they're so far away you can't tell the difference. So, so with that, with that LED selection, you see we reduce from three trillion triangles per scene down to thirteen million triangles per scene. So, if you want to turn the LED off, so let's yeah, so just let's just fly through this for thirty seconds, take it in a little bit here. So, so basically, as we're flying through, you, you can't visually see the difference, but we are actually changing LEDs as an as not really gets closer to us. So, if we want to swap in a new, you know, finer grain mesh. So if you fly, like, fly sort of close to that chunky rock there, maybe the one on the left. So as you get close to it, you can, you know, you, you get to see some of that bumpy detail. Cool. Thank you. So this, so this is a brand, a brand new tool developers are going to have. It's basically going to enable them to make a scene that just looks totally different from what you've seen before. You know, the difference between having 10,000 out of 20,000 having a whole bunch of 